They do not want you to think too much. Hi, this is Sheila Aliens. Today is August 18th, 2012. This is a story that posted on the 16th. A Louisiana boat disappears into the sinkhole. Workers rescued. A 400 foot deep sinkhole in Louisiana is expanding and today swallowed the boat of two cleanup workers who had to be rescued from the hole. Officials are still fearful of the possibility of explosions from nearby gas-filled caverns. The two workers were in a boat tied to a tree when the area where the tree grew fell into the sinkhole, but their boat disappeared into the freaking sinkhole. Last week, most residents decided to stay in their homes, but as of the 16th, 60% of those people said, okay, we're going to get out of here now. Suspiciously enough, as this is all going on, the secretary of the Department of Natural Resources there in Louisiana resigned in early August as all of this is unfolding. There's a similar story from 1980. Basically, a very similar situation happened in Louisiana, and it's called the Lake Pignor Sinkhole Disaster of 1980. I suggest you watch this little 10 minute video if you're interested to see what could possibly happen with Assumption Parish and this isn't even including the possibility of explosions on top of the regular sinkhole draining everything. So everybody's receiving financial assistance from Texas Brine thankfully. They began drilling the relief well last night and I will keep you updated on this and we'll see what happens. Thanks for watching. Some financial relief came today for sinkhole-stricken Assumption Parish residents. Households under evacuation orders got $875 today with each week. They will also get it until they get back to their homes. WA's Jim Shannon has the story from Pierre Clark. Displaced residents of Bayou Corn have traveled south to Pierre Park to pick up a check for $875, courtesy of the Texas Brine Company. A check that Texas Brine officials refer to as assistance. Dozens of Bayou Corn residents packed the Assumption Parish Sheriff's substation. So while residents were getting checks back home, 20 more square feet of land slipped into the sinkhole. That's twice in two days. Uh, this morning, uh, investigation we revealed that an additional 20 feet on the east side of the sinkhole did slough in, similar to what happened yesterday. Today. Texas Brown is planning on starting the observation well drilling tonight. Trish says some people may hear noise and vibrations coming from the well site. Between 7 p.m. and 12 p.m. tonight that they should start driving casing. So the local residents may hear, hear the noise of the casing being driven as well as uh, hear it have some vibration. But that is totally expected. Jim Shannon, WAFB. If you are going to control any population for any length of time, you must bring in an element of getting people to consent to what is happening to us. Society is developing more and more in the direction of a thought belief that control every thought we have.